Today is day 10 of our yatra. We leave our hotel by 6:30 in the morning to drive off for Parikrama. We get dropped off near Ashtapad mountain about 5 kilometers away from Sirlong Gompa. in the morning weather is very cold it's very dark and cloudy from here we will track towards sarlong gompa with guidance of our tibetan help and flashlight this track is very difficult for us due to high altitude and lack of proper acclimatization after walking barely 3 to 4 steps i have to rest to catch up on my breathing and to help bring my heart rate down situation improved after 2 hours worth of struggle my body got used to the higher altitude and the trek was little less strenuous it is almost around 8:30 am and we have little bit better visibility and we see nandi mountain completely covered with clouds After trekking some more towards Nandi we make a left turn and now we will be trekking parallel to Nandi mountain Weather is still very very cold and windy. It is extremely cloudy as well. With Shiva in our minds, we keep tracking inside this white bubble enjoying the beautiful music composed of gushing wind and flowing river to our right side. We have been tracking for about 4 hours now with multiple breaks in between of course. We are still not sure how much longer we need to track in order to have darshan of Kailash because there is very little visibility. Since we had tracked so much we were very positive that the mountain that we see in front of us is Kailash but we were so wrong because all of a sudden there is a loud thunder little bit to left of what we thought was Kailash all of a sudden from almost 10 foot visibility it became bright and clear as if sun is throwing spotlight and enabling us to have darshan of kailash a very long and tall black wall covered with snow is in front of us we focus on kailash and have darshan of atmalingam that was not enough for lord shiva he is so merciful he wants us to see how atmalingam is formed we got to witness 
three avalanches happening on Kailash and all the snow falling from staircase like structure creating Atmalingam at the base. That is Atmalingam right there. Avalanche oh. happening at Atmalingam. Oh Kailash. my god, look at that. Can you hear that? Yes. Avalanche happening. So this is Atmalingam being formed by these avalanches. There are no words in any language to express how we felt when we had this darshan. To our right side from Atmalingam, we get to see Saptarishi Caves and 13 Golden Chortins. Occasionally, we could see the southeast side of Kailash and the beautiful peacock green eyes on it but unfortunately, our cameras could not capture it. As we are enjoying Kailash and Nandi Mountain, suddenly we look at our right side and we can see Mansarovar. It is so amazing to see Kailash to our left and Mansar over to our right. Visibility has improved significantly. Now we are able to have darshan of Ravan Lingam, Atma Lingam, Saptarishi Caves, 13 Chortens and Nandi Mountain in front of us. After spending about an hour at this location, with very heavy heart, we have to make a return trip. Mountain Nandi is very clearly visible to our left side. We are walking parallel to Nandi and slowly, first Saptarishi cave, then Atmalingam and then slowly Ravanlingam also disappears. Tracking for about 10 kilometers, we are now very close to Sarlong Gompa. This is the last we will get to see even Nandi. Once we make the right turn, even Nandi will not be visible to us. Shiva must not be very happy that we are leaving. All of a sudden, weather changed and it started raining very heavily. It became extremely difficult to track those last five kilometers from Sarlong Gompa up to our car. Temperatures were close to zero degrees Celsius. It is extremely cold and even through very well insulated waterproof shoes, my toes have started going numb. Somehow we make it to the car, extremely exhausted, 
and ready to go back to Darchin. A nice hot shower would have been refreshing, but there is no hot water. After dinner, completely drenched in today's blissful experience, we go to sleep. Next day morning, on day 11 of our Yatra, we drive back to Taklakhat. Very same day, we cross the border, go to Hilsa, catch the helicopter, go to Simikot, and in that small aircraft, fly back to Nepal Ganj. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, watching, liking and sharing my videos. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you.